are there different types of carpenters? Or are we all just carpenters? I'm curious. I've done a little bit of thinking about this and I'll have a chat to you about it, eh? Let's discuss it. I think, I think it's something that you need to look into as an apprentice. G'day guys, Chris here at Midlife Carpentry. Back for another installment. Uh, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, hit a like, hit a subscribe, and uh, jump into all the fun. Guys, today I want to talk to you about the different types of carpenters. Now, I, I've been doing a bit of thinking about this. I've been a carpenter, an apprentice carpenter for about a year now. Um, I'm coming into second year soon, actually, which is pretty exciting. It's a big step. But I just wanted to discuss the whole concept of different types of carpenters. What I mean is the company that I work for seems to focus a lot more on commercial. So there's a lot more commercial work that we do. So office fit outs and repairs at um, other commercial businesses and stuff and um, not a lot of a lot of knowledge new builds if that kind of makes sense. And uh, along with that we don't really touch much on you know like wall framing for houses or or doing roof trusses and things like that. So we, we lose out on a lot of the domestic and residential stuff because we're focused on more commercial. So that begs a question. Do I stay with the same employer for my entire apprenticeship? Hmm. I mean, in the ideal world, if the company I'm working for does say a good mix of maybe 50-50, you know, somewhere around there, even 40-60 I'd probably deal with, you know, 60% commercial, 40% residential. If we could pick up some renos or, 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 or do some work that's related on, on a different avenue, a different side of carpentry, I think that'd be pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, I am completely and utterly um, what do you say, thankful and grateful for the opportunities I've been given and stuff in the time of my apprenticeship. You know, the, the things that I've learned in the past year have been unreal. I mean, I mean there, there's, there's apprenticeships and stuff where you might be doing the same thing day in, day out as a first year. You might be sweeping floors and cutting nogs for walls and that could be it. That could be pretty much your entire year as a first year apprentice. But the opportunities I've been given as a first year in the company I'm with now, the things that I've learned, things that I've been involved in, like it is pretty, pretty awesome, guys. It is. But I've got to look ahead as well. So I've got to make a decision later on, probably give it a good year or so, and see where I'm sitting. See what skill set I have. See what skill set I need. I am still only a first year technically. So yeah, we've got to give things time and I've got to take things, things on board as well. There'll be stuff I'll be doing at home that I'll be learning, you know, residential stuff on my own as well. So, yeah, exciting times indeed. Ha! <laughs> Just got to crack on with it. Hey, get on with it. So, it's a pretty big call. It's a pretty big decision to make, I think, to, to decide whether you're, you're going to move on from the current employer that you're with as an apprentice, halfway through your apprenticeship, and shift to another one in an effort to try and improve that skill set, to diversify maybe the skills that you need or have. Because my personally, my, my concern is that if I spend my entire apprenticeship just dedicated to commercial work, I could probably get petition walls up pretty quick and understand how the ins and outs of commercial buildings work. But if I had to go and do a reno at a house, am I still going to be able to do the reno at the house? or understand how to do a reno? And we're gonna have the right concept and mindset for it? I don't know. What's your feelings? How are you guys going out there as an apprentices and stuff? I mean, I know, I know there's a guy that, that, I know there's a few guys actually, that have shifted like halfway through their apprenticeship to a different employer because the skills that they were learning at one particular wasn't really what they wanted. They wanted to learn different skills in somewhere else. So, yeah, bloody hard decision to make, I reckon, especially 
if you feel a degree of loyalty to the employer, if you know they gave you the opportunity as an apprentice in the first place, you know to give you a crack at it, yeah, it's going to be a hard, hard decision to make. So yeah, I'm keen to hear what you guys have got to say. I'm here, to, keen to get some some feedback on this whole little predicament and dilemma I have. Yeah, I'm going to keep measuring this window up because we're going to actually put some louvers in here. We're getting rid of the doors. The doors are too much. Remove the doors. Pull the wall up, put some louvers in which match up with the inside of the louvers um, that are already there established. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that all looks up. Put some cladding on, make it look pretty, you know. It's just too much glass. Too many doors. You don't know which one to go through when you rock up. So yeah, windows are all measured up. So we'll see how, well, the walls are all measured up. And this is another thing, like I, I'm a first year apprentice and I don't really know what I'm doing in regards to drawing up for a frame wall. I have a rough idea, fairly confident I can do it, but as for physical experience and that, I've never done, which is probably something you wouldn't do as a first year anyway. So that's, it's fine. It's all learning, it's all growing, it's all developing. So um, as, as for me, what have I been up to? My arms, forearms and hands are absolutely caning at the moment. Uh, we've been slinging off jackhammers and stuff for the past couple of days, um, Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, I think it was. And yeah, absolutely smashed my forearms and hands and yeah, a little bit sore and stuff. Still my shoulders are sore, they're still caning. Um, yeah, fun and games of getting stuck into demo, I guess. Um, demo is a part of your apprenticeship, guys. If you're doing carpentry apprenticeship, there is a module in demo as well. So, you know, make sure you don't sort of, you know, pass up an opportunity to break some stuff. So yeah, it is a, it is an important part of, it is a module in your apprenticeship most of the times. So yeah, get that signed off and, and get some photos and you know, you're all good. That's all I've really been up to guys. We've been demolishing those uh, bathrooms and they will be renovated. So tiled and uh, new flooring and stuff going in and everything. So we'll be a part of that and in, in the installation process here and there. So yeah, I'll, I'll try and get some photos and stuff and, and show you what's going on, but yeah. You can see the demo fun and games right here, guys. It's, uh, yeah, pretty full on. I made a mind the a chippy that I work with actually posted this one up on Instagram, so credit to him. Um, thanks for taking the footage, man. Appreciate it, Jaden. Good job, Beth. Uh, yeah, that's it, me. That's for me this week. Uh, no tool shout out. I'm gonna mix it up a bit this time. I'm gonna start doing tool shout outs separately from my videos. Try and keep the video length down a little bit more. And uh, if you did want to just uh, jump on midlife and have a look at the tool shout outs and work out what tools you need as an apprentice, then hey, you might just want to go through the whole, a whole uh, collection of tool shout outs and help you make some decisions on that sort of stuff. So yeah. All right, guys, build on legends. Have a cracker of a week and we'll uh, see you on the other side of it, eh? All right, see you guys. Bye.